Okay, so from the Sofax palette, the shades. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is super unplanned. I wasn't expecting to shoot this anytime soon, but here I am. I thought of just showing you what I do before I actually shoot a video for Instagram. And this isn't a makeup tutorial or anything of that sort. It's just what I do and what helps me probably might help you all. I hardly know anything about makeup myself. I am still in the process of learning. But I hope you guys find this helpful and let's get started. So I have nothing on my skin right now. I just took a shower and uh, this is what my skin looks like without any makeup whatsoever. I'm going to start with two things I always put on my face after I am done taking a bath just you know as a refreshment for the skin. Uh, so I recently put a video on Instagram uh, talking about these two products. Uh, one is an orange gel and the second one is a lip balm because you know since winter is coming and my lips just tear apart so which is why I use these two products and they smell so good Okay, also I forgot to mention both these products are from this homemade brand uh, called The Magic Tree. I will leave the link in the description box below. Just to prep my lips. This Bobbi Brown Vitamin C Cream is another product that I absolutely cannot do without. It works so well on my skin and again it smells like heaven. hairband now so that my hair doesn't come on my face when I'm doing my makeup so whenever I'm shooting for Instagram one thing I always like to do is avoid foundation I like to keep my makeup as minimal as possible I hate it when uh, makeup is too cakey and uh, I like makeup to look as natural as possible so that is what I try to do so the first thing I do is concealer the concealer that I'm using is the LA Girl Pro Concealer I will mention the shade in the description box down below. This is one concealer I swear by. I have been stalking on this for so long. What just happened? I am going to use my palette as a mirror. So I usually put it um, under my eyes, on a few spots that I have on my forehead, near my nose to hide the redness. And this is what my face looks like after I'm done with the concealer. To blend it, I am using this super cute small beauty blender I got from Miniso. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it up. So, this is what my face looks like after I am done putting the concealer just brightens up my face a little uh, gets rid of all the dark circles okay moving on to the next step uh, it is this compact powder from MAC I just use this and pat on my face Yeah, this is what it looks like after the first two steps okay now if you know me you know that I love 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 blush like if there were two products I could use on a daily basis without my skin getting super ruined it would be a blush and a mascara so this is the blush I'm using it's a blush stick by sugar and I got this in PR but trust me I think I'm gonna keep talking on this too because I am in love with this go super overboard with my blush put a lot of it and I love putting some on my nose as well because once it all merges in it gives a super sunburnt effect and then I just blend it 
You need to smile and you need to blend it. And uh, trust me, it looks like a lot when you put it, but when it's done, it looks so cute. So this is what it looks like after blush. I love how it adds like a little definition to your face and it makes it look so plumpy and nice. For the next step, I really like doing my brows. They have gotten super thick in the pandemic because I didn't get them done for 7 months straight. All I do is take this spoolie from Colourpop and brush through my brows. Then I go ahead with the Colourpop eyebrow gel and just you know sort of put it on my eyebrows so that they remain in shape. It's a tinted eyebrow gel so it kind of also you know makes your eyebrows look a little thicker. Do you see the difference guys? Look at this. For the next step uh, I go really light on my eyelids and I have these certain shades that I put this is the Makeup Revolution Sofex palette which was my first ever eyeshadow palette So the shades that I use from the Sofex palette Cheesecake, Cookie Dough and Brownie So the first shade that I go ahead with is Cookie Dough uh, This is the shade I just pat it all over my eye to sort of give it that definition and then I go ahead with cheesecake just on my crease then I take this little brush and take the darkest shade that is brownies and just go over my upper corner Okay, so do you see the difference between this eye and this eye? It's just that one dark shade made so much difference. Just on the outer corners to give your eye a little bit of definition. And now I take the same shade brownies and go on the lower lash line, lower lash line. Oh, this just acts like a kajal, an eyeliner, everything. I love how different my eyes look. So the next step is my favorite. It's mascara. I have been in love with this mascara lately. It is the Hyper Curl Voluminous Mascara by Maybelline. And I love that it's so affordable and still does such a good job. It's unbelievable. Now I'm gonna go ahead with my mascara and um, put mascara. So before I put my mascara, I always like to take out the excess because again, I don't want it to look like I've put a lot of it. I want it to be extremely subtle. Please tell me you guys can see the difference because it's unbelievable. So we're done with the eyes and this is what it looks like. I love how it looks. Not too much, not too less. Just perfect enough to look awake and fresh. Going to the last step of my makeup now. Uh, I usually put two lipsticks. One is what I use to prep my lips with and the other one is the tint that I go for. I first use this lip balm. By Bobbi Brown. It is a very neutral, uh, very very neutral, subtle lip color, and it works mainly like a lip balm more than a lipstick. 
this is one lipstick I have wanted for the longest time and I bought it last year. It is the Dior Addict Lip Tattoo and it is so good, it is so natural and more than anything it's so 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 light on your lips you feel like you haven't put anything but like there's sufficient amount of color and that's one thing I love about this product. Then I just take my finger and dab it. So this is the entire completed look and I love how this looks. Also, uh, I usually don't put a setting spray after I'm done with the makeup because I shoot like two or three videos and then I'm done but I am planning to shoot the entire day today. So just so that the makeup stays for a longer time. I am going to go ahead and put this setting spray. This again is by MAC. I don't know if you can see it. And this is what it looks like by the end of the entire look. I am going to show it to you in better lighting so you all know what it actually looks like. Um, and I am quickly going to go change into my outfit now. Okay, so this is what it looks like after wearing the outfit. This is the outfit I am shooting in today and I absolutely love, love, love it. You will see it on Instagram if you follow me. If you don't, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of stuff over there. This is my Instagram handle. And yeah, if you ever happen to recreate this look after seeing this video, don't forget to tag me share your pictures with me let me know in the comments what you think about this video and i will see in my next video i forget that this is youtube so don't forget to like share subscribe and comment also follow me on instagram bye